What's going on, B-Risers? I hope you're all doing well. And today, I'm gonna give you guys five foods to start healing the skin, to heal any skin issues, whether that's eczema, rosacea, acne. Uh, and for myself, these five foods have been so important to include with skin cancer that I had. So, I, for those of you who never saw my previous videos on skin cancer, I did have the moles removed and I really looked at what I was consuming through my foods and tried to take out acid forming foods and very just processed food, junk food, toxic foods to the body because that's whatever you're consuming is going to reflect on the outside of the skin and the skin you'll hear me repeatedly say is our largest eliminative organ. So we want to make sure that we are feeding our body, our cells, healthy foods, because that's going to impact our kidneys, our two kid filtration kidneys. And if our kidneys are backed up, then we can get a blowback on the skin. Uh, and so the, uh, the foods I want to give today, you're going to notice a common theme with them and we'll talk about that later but the uh the important thing when it comes to healing the skin is making sure we're giving our body everything it needs to thrive so i love i really encourage eating a variety of colors and that has just been so beneficial for me in healing my two kidneys and then my largest kidney in the skin. So we want to look at whole foods first and foremost. And even, you know, the, if you're still eating meat or if you're vegan, we want to look at whole foods for both camps. <laughs> and there's, I don't get involved in labels. I, just look at whole foods and not getting um, stuck in with processed foods because even we can look at even all the different labels out there you can still get into some unhealthy foods out there some processed foods or even just too high protein foods right that can be damaging on the kidneys so we want to have some balance here and that's what I'm here to bring. <laughs> so starting with the first food, can you guys guess? It's right in front here. <laughs> Taking up the whole show. Pumpkin. Okay, so this beautiful pumpkin here, it's in season right now. And yet some people are still fearing fruit. And we're going to talk about that because this is what people are fearing when it actually can do so much for them. It can heal their skin. So pumpkin is phenomenal. And I love doing pumpkin soups. I love doing pumpkin smoothies. You can even juice pumpkin if you want. But what we're looking at is the fiber content, right? So it's gonna get your bowels moving so we want that fiber, we want the water content, the hydration, but we're also looking at foods that are high in beta carotene, these carotenoids. They are a high antioxidant, especially when it comes to damage, any damage to the skin, right? It's gonna look at healing and repairing and going after free radicals. So these cancer, you know, damaged cells on the skin. So beta carotene is the antioxidant we want, not in isolated form, but in whole form from our food. So pumpkin is phenomenal. Also high in vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. So I'm, I've been getting in a lot of pumpkin lately and it's so good. So it's a really, really, it's really beneficial to get that beta carotene in for the skin so we can start healing any sort of damage done to it, whether that's from the UV rays, right? Sun, too much sun can burn the skin, but it's also what we're looking at in terms of other foods that we may have been eating that's burning us inside. 
So we'll cover that in another video, but we want to really take out any sort of processed foods, foods cooked at high temperatures, um, really acidic foods, uh, and even certain chemicals that we may have ingested can burn us internally. Even some pharmaceutical medications that contain lots of sulfur, you know, very, very acidic and toxic to our body and that's going to show on the skin, right? What, whatever we're putting in our intestinal tract is uh, if it causes inflammation, our skin's going to be inflamed. So we want to start soothing the intestinal tract, right? First and foremost, we want to start cleaning up the intestinal tract, cleaning up the liver and our kidneys. So we want foods that are going to be easy on those organs. And the next food, avocados, right? Healthy fat. I love even put avocado on my face if I want to, you know, do something different. But avocados are high in vitamin E, you know, it's another high antioxidant and it's really good at moisturizing the skin. So it's a healthy fat that I really like to look at in the winter time, right? When it can be more dry. So bringing in more healthy moisturizing fats like avocado, super beneficial and healthy for your skin. The third one, third food we have here are apples. Now I love eating apples. I can eat three apples in a row, no problem. They are very good for cleansing out the intestinal tract, high in fiber, but also vitamin C. And that's what we want for our skin as well. We want to start looking at hydrating the body and start bringing in more fiber rich foods because that's going to keep the intestinal tract clean, going to also help the kidney stay clean, and that's going to reflect on the skin. So apples, I love. The fourth food that we got here are cantaloupe. Okay, so this melon is high water content, so that's what we want. We want to start hydrating the body. Also high in beta carotene, so you guys Notice I already talked about beta carotene, super important for the skin, that antioxidant. We want to start bringing in these beta, this, these antioxidants to start healing damaged cells. So cantaloupe is phenomenal. So we want to look at bringing down inflammation and that's where the cantaloupe can really help. It's, um, this melon is one of the best for cleaning out mucus, breaking up mucus, and cleaning up any toxins, residues in the body, and eliminating it out, right? That's what we want. We want to start bringing down inflammation and taking out acids, waste out of the body through our eliminative channels. So cantaloupe is going to help with that. The last food that we have here, and it may be actually quite controversial, <laughs> which it's, I always love to <laughs> tap into that once in a while for fun. And we're going to get into is tomatoes. So tomatoes nowadays, you know, nowadays are getting a bad rap, you know, with lectins and nightshades and I'm not buying into it though. Uh, now I do you guys a lot of research, especially when it comes to the kidneys and the skin. And what I found is that beta carotene rich foods, are so important in healing the skin. Uh, so getting in lots of these whole foods as well as lycopene, another powerful antioxidant. So if we look at the red color of these tomatoes, even you'll see that red color in watermelon, super detoxifying for the skin. Lycopene is a powerful antioxidant and they even have done scientific studies to show that it can actually, you know, prevent a lot of and, and start reversing a lot of UV damage that's been done from the sun, right? So we want to look at lycopene, its defense against UV radiation or aggressive pathogens. So lycopene, high antioxidants. I love to like even making raw tomato soup. So that will be in my recipe book but I love getting in tomato soup. Tomatoes, high 
again in lycopene water content fiber so really good for cleaning the skin and going after those free radicals and even repairing and regenerating some of these damaged cells so that's phenomenal what we're seeing with lycopene in some of these scientific studies so getting in the beta carotene lycopene vitamin e so important for the skin it's so important to hydrate the skin look after our skin and not put harsh chemicals on the skin because that's going to absorb in the body so always read the ingredients i always like if i'm, if I'm putting anything on the skin it's going to be coconut oil right so that's hydrating and it's not you know what's in it there's not all these thousands of chemicals in in the product so we want to look at the ingredients of what we're buying there's so many chemicals out there and we really have to be aware of what we're doing and what we're putting on our in our body and on our body so I hope that these foods help you out we're gonna get more into nightshades and talking about that and dispelling you know some of these just some of the misinformation out there because there's a lot of it and we don't want to get lost in those worlds and that can actually trap us from getting better from getting our skin cleared up so try to uh, just look at whole foods and keep it simple and look at the science as well and what it's doing for people and I've been hearing so much good things about tomatoes healing people right even right taking tomatoes out from your garden and making a salad with it, some cucumbers, it's doing, it's healing so many people. Just, you know, keeping it simple, keeping it whole. So with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helps you out. And as always, be your beautiful selves. Be getting in some fruits today. <laughs> and when you do that, we will all be rising.